So what's up guys, Subaxi Legends back with another video. In this video today guys, we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make street lights for your own Roblox game. So basically these lights, we're gonna make them like turn on in the nighttime, like at a certain time, but in the daytime, like right now, we're gonna make them turn off. So you see right now it's like sunset, I guess, it's about to turn sunset, I think. We're gonna make them turn on soon and by the way guys, I'm showing you guys these street lights in a game called Pebble Heaven, the next chapter. So me and my friend PriceCP, we've been working on this game for like a few months. We've been working like really hard. And we're expecting to release this game like very soon. Yeah, this is Pebble Heaven, the next chapter. Feel free to check out the first generation Pebble Heaven, which is still out. If you go to Price Counter Punch's Roblox profile or search up PriceCP on YouTube, you could play the first gen Pebble Heaven there and you could see the difference. And now, and now, the lights would better turn on. Like I'm saying, we're making these street lights basically like turn on when it's in the night. So let's keep waiting. It's getting really dark. And now you can see the sunset and the lights turn on as you see. And look at this. It's really beautiful. And yeah, you guys are probably thinking that Pebble Heaven next chapter looks beautiful as well. So in two weeks to a month, you guys are going to see this beauty out there. So let's get started now. I'm going to show you guys how to make street lights like this for your Roblox game. You first have to enter the game that you want to put these lights in. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the description of this video or check my pinned comment, check the pinned comment of this video. And you'll see that there's a link there, right? When you click that link, it'll lead you to my model, which is this light basically. But don't get too excited yet, guys. It's only the light itself. There's like no scripts and nothing else like really set up. It's just a design because it's like a really beautiful design. I know, like, look at it. It's just realistic. But I'm going to show you guys how to script in this video to make it like actually work and like really function in your game. So after you put this light into your game, this light thing with no scripts, what you want to do is inside the light, we're going to set up the point light, right? So we could go to light inside over here. You go inside street, street light, then light and add a point light to the light, to the light part. I mean, and now you got the street, you got the point light, right? We could go to lighting over here and make it midnight so we could see better. We could see the light better. Because we want to preview how it looks, like actually. And we could just alter it around, I guess. Like we could make this 60 to make it like bright. Anyways, once you're done like playing around with the settings for the point light, what you want to do now is you want to go to the properties and turn off enable. Because we're going to enable it in the script. And now guys, this is when the fun happens. Once you're done with one street light, let's make a few more around the map. Because I'm going to be showing you guys one script that's going to power them all on. So you could reduce strips because if you have a script in each model, then it'll slow down your game and it's just not going to be fun then because it just ruins all the hard work you put into the games that you guys are building. So I think five lights are good enough. So once you're done like figuring out like how many lights you want in your map, just create a folder and put them all in. And now we're going to start scripting them. Let's put a script inside the folder now. And how about we rename the folder too? So we can name the folder like lights, I guess. But anyways, let's start scripting this thing now. All right. Once you got everything set up, like the folder script and all that, what you want to do inside the script is you want to erase everything in there and just put all these lines into in my script into your script, and it'll make the game work. Trust me. And I'll explain what it does briefly now. So let's get started. In the start, you can see I'm declaring two variables. Nothing really new. I'm just declaring the folder over here with the street light. And then after, I'm using the get children function to get everything inside the folder. So the script, street lights, everything, I'm talking about those in the second variable. Then after that, I basically kind of have a while true loop. But the reason I didn't say while true is because if I say while true, it'll really like change the script around. It will not make it work. And I'll explain more after I, I briefly explain this entire script. But instead, I use a while task await, one second script, and do. I'll talk more about this after I talk about everything in here. But let's get started. So at the start, you can see on line 5, we're saying for every child, so everything in here, in iPad's children, is basically saying everything in here for everything, do this. And then after that, I said, if child is a model, then what the script is doing is, is checking if everything inside is a model or not. And if it is a model, like it's an if statement, right? So if it is a model, if it's something like they say that it's described, so these are models, by the way, the script isn't a model. So since these are all models, they're going to do like everything inside it after then. I mean, they're going to do everything after then. So we can see that we're declaring stuff inside each child 
which is in here they're all models and they're all gonna check for they're all gonna check if there's light and a light part and all these are the same models right because we did we duplicated them so they all include a light over here and a light part two you could check any random one like this one i don't even know where it is but they all got light and light part if it doesn't have a light or light part like a model in there then it's probably just gonna ignore that that model then but anyways it's checking for the light and the light part after it's checking for the point light we included a point light remember when we were just playing around they're checking for this and then after they do all that we're not declaring the clock time because basically we want the light to turn on like at a certain time of day we don't want it to turn on like in the daytime because that would be just stupid if you just think about it but aside from that we could after that we have another if statement actually an if else statement because we're saying that if the current time of the game is past 5 a.m just keep in mind that this is all military time so you would need to know how to convert it really so basically i'm saying if the current time is past 5 p 5 a.m 5 a.m in the morning and current time is before 17.5 so that's equivalent to 5 30 p.m then and basically over here we're just making the light off and you can see like we're just changing the material of the light part to glass we don't want it glowing and we also change the light i mean the color of the part to like gray i guess something like that and we turn off the point light if not and over here is else you can see right basically what this is saying is that if the current time is basically before 5 a.m and after 5 30 then it's gonna do the script over here so we could see that we made the part neon so it'll be glowing like i said earlier in addition to that we also changed the color of the light part so it's glowing and now it's orange now like an average street light around town and we also turn on the point light so they could actually see some sort of light not just like the part itself all right so back to before like i was saying i didn't want to use a while true loop because if i do then it won't be updated and what i mean by that is that if you start the game at midnight and we have the cycle like just changing like let's say it's 6 a.m right like it came from 12 a.m to 6 a.m that means that the lights it would still like stay on so like it really wouldn't update like the time and stuff but if we have a wait over here then every second is going to check like what's up with the time and stuff like that but while true like it just like assumes that the light assumes that it's midnight the whole time but daytime it checks every second and the reason i didn't put like a task wait like this is because it would slow down the game and really we just want to turn on the lights and off at a certain time and like it also takes like a few seconds like to make it turn on and off and stuff like that so you might as well just put a task wait for like a few seconds to make the game like run better and stuff and in addition to the script it doesn't include a day and night cycle so you need to you would need to script one yourself but lucky for you guys my previous video i talked about how to make a day and night cycle script using only four lines compared to all the other scripts in a marketplace that has like 20 lines so you could use you could watch my previous video refer back to it it'll be in the description by the way and you can see how to script your day and night cycle over here and i'm gatekeeping it in this video but you could view my previous video to figure out how to do it but anyways let's test the game and see if the day and night and stuff like that work so we're starting off at 12 a.m by the way you can see that it's changing when it's daytime it, i think it's about to be past 5 a.m let's check 6 a, 7 a.m right now is a really fast cycle script actually but you can see the lights turn off and let's just read this real quick it's 12 a.m i mean 12 p.m now and when it's after 5 30 these lights are gonna turn back on which is like around now i think yeah now 17 30. you can see the lights are back on and when it turns back when it's past 5 a.m i mean it's gonna turn off the lights will turn off so let's wait 3 4 a.m and now it turns off just like that and yeah this is basically how you make your street lights in roblox studio this is how you make multiple street lights turn on and on using only one script to reduce lag in your roblox games i learned from experience and it really helped me a lot hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do smash that like and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace